Hey guys, so what I want to make is a way, something to mount all my European mounts on the wall with. And I found something online I kind of got an idea from. Um, I think what I'm going to do is look for some sort of downed tree that's already a little bit dry. Cut part of it off on my sawmill, basically like a... Um, just one slab, like the outside, uh, basically just the um, outside first sawmill cut, and mount the flat edge to the wall, and put some pegs all the way down, basically two about eight inches apart that you can set the antlers of the deer in, or the European mount in, and just space them out every foot or so, have two eight inches apart every foot or so. Um, I'll show you what I'm talking here. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. Something like this, but a little bit straighter and something I can get the bark easily peeled off. Just want to do it natural, no bark. And then I'll put some lacquer on it and call it a day. Let's see what we can find. All right, what I got here is an ash log that was, it's been dead. I've had it sitting here for a while. I took a walk around. I couldn't find anything that I was really kind of stood out to me. And I was like, man, that'd look good on the wall. but. What I'm going to try to do is just take the top a couple inches off this so when I put the flat piece on the wall you got the round natural log. Hopefully you can get a little bit of this um, branch here so that it'll look a little bit less uniform. Should look nice. So I'm going to get the mill going here and uh, we'll take the top piece off and see what it looks like. That's what I'm looking for. It would have been too big and bulky if I left all that on it and cut down to the point where I could get this branch to show up. So I'm going to pull the mill back. Or do I want to use that piece? I don't know. That piece would look pretty good too. Bark pops right off this. I'm almost thinking just use this. It's not good for a board. The rest would be good for boards. This is a lot of character. Plenty of room to put some pegs in. I'm gonna use this. That looks good. There's the other side. I like it. where I want this to go. Thinking right here. Maybe. I got about four feet to work with there, four and a half. Could do one set right under the other. Could do it up here under the TV. That's eight feet, seven and a half there. Just 
trying to think where I'd rather have them. Where center is to drill my holes for my pegs. So I measured one of my European mounts. I want the pegs, I want seven inches between the pegs, but I want seven inches outside to outside. I'm gonna do, I think one inch dowel. So figure drill my holes every eight inches, eight inches between, and then I gotta figure out how far between each two pegs. So you got two pegs here, you got a um, European mount sitting on those how far over does the next one and obviously it depends on how wide your spread is on your deer and everything like that but i'm going to try to keep it uniform so it doesn't get confusing um i'm thinking probably 10 inches but we'll find out here in a minute put three European mounts on each I believe um, so I'm gonna do you know three higher up on the wall three low lower and uh, I think that'll look pretty good I've actually got seven euro mounts but I'll set one on a desk or figure something out um, that was kind of a small one anyway so I don't need to have all of them up on the wall and probably as I shoot bigger and bigger bucks, maybe I'll move some of these off and swap them out with a different buck, but uh, should look pretty good. So I'll show you how I'm gonna drill the holes on the um, drill press here. So what I got here set up is I went in, grabbed one of my spade bits. One inch looked way too big, so I grabbed three quarters. I've got a roller on this side, just so I don't have to support the wood over there. I've got a sacrificial block here underneath so that um, I can uh, drill straight through my workpiece. And that's about it. I just got to go down through and hit all these marks yes yeah, so i got yeah one two three four five six so that'll support three heads and uh see what it looks like finished slabs got my holes all drilled just need to sand a little bit pound my dowels in put some lacquer on them and they'll be ready to hang up I think that's gonna look pretty cool especially with that darker edge on the outside I'll clean it up a little hopefully it stays a little bit darker than the inner grain there though because that would look really neat all right what i want to do before i start sanding those boards i want to take a wire wheel basically to those edges on the outside um Essentially what I want to do is clean this stuff up because that's going to destroy any kind of sandpaper you put to it. So, got a wire brush on my angle grinder here.
Looks good. So left all that character we were looking for on the sides. Got all that mushy stuff that was caught between the bark and the actual board off of there. And that's gonna turn out real nice. Stopped at Home Depot, got some three quarter inch dowel. Caught them all the same length. Popped them in there to see what it looks like. I think that's gonna work really good. So I'm gonna take these down to my dad's shop and um, sand them and finish them down there. I thought I had a sander here, but I guess not. I'm gonna have to buy one. So not much more. It's gonna look good. I just ran this one through the planer there. And honestly, I think I'm just gonna do that with this one and put some lacquer on them and call it a day. That's plenty smooth enough for the look I'm going for and especially with the live edge on the on outside there. I mean, this doesn't have to be anywhere near perfect, so. Plus I'm afraid if I sand that, it'll take some of that character out of the live edge, so. I'll plane this one and then we'll finish them. Just rounding the ends over so it looks a little bit more natural. Got something to wipe that glue off. There we go. Got that one done. One more. Then I'm gonna probably do a second coat after this dries. Come down again later tonight, probably. And then I can hang them up and see what they look like with the European mounts on there. Should look pretty sharp. Here it is. Turned out sweet. Got a lot of that character and the edge of the bark, or between the bark there and the live edge, I should say. And then spacing turned out real nice. They fit up there, decent amount of room in between them. And this was a real goofy buck I shot probably almost 10 years ago, but he was an old buck. Just real funky. Um, if you're looking for some other ideas, you can just mount them right to a oak backer like this one. I had this one done. It's my first archery buck. I had it dipped, which I'm not crazy about. I'd probably just do white from now on. This one I did myself. I had uh, 
or I built this base for it and turn it into a lamp. Use the arrow that I shot them with, ran some lamp cord up through it into a little small light fixture there. So that's a really neat idea if you got one with a bow. Um, might figure out something, put like a light to shine up just so you get that. It's pretty neat that shadow up there. But this is going to be my office. Um, got my monitor set up here, <clears throat> my archery box. Um, my biggest archery box anyway. This is my 10 point I shot two years ago now. He was close to 140, if not 140. And this one was five or six, six years or seven years ago now. He was probably 120. Good bases on him, real nice mass. He's a good buck. Um, gonna do something with the sheds. I don't know what yet, but like I said, once I get my office done here, I'll take you for a final tour. It's just in the construction phase still. But hope you enjoyed the video and it gives you some ideas for your Euro mounts and how to display them. So. They're not in a big pile like mine were forever, so see you on the next one.